So a lot of you guys want to get into day trading, but you only have a small amount of money. And I've done numerous videos on growing a small Forex account, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own spreadsheet to grow your own account with the exact type of risk that you want to do. I know for a small account, it's going to be a lot more risk than is healthy long term. You end up having bad tendencies, but I'm going to teach you how to do this because a lot of people just want to grow a small account because they don't have the large capital to trade. They don't want to do a funded account challenge. So let's get into Excel and uh, I'll teach you how to do this. Okay, so this is a sheet that I already created. It's very similar to my 20 pip challenge, but I've reduced the risk a little bit as well as the take profit. Um, I've come to see that it's much easier instead of a one to two risk to reward, it's much more consistent to get a one to 1 1.5. Now, I've already done this, so I'm gonna delete it all off the, off the chart and I'm gonna show you how I got it all set up. About a month ago, I made a video starting a $100 account trying to grow it. Uh, I haven't touched it since that first trade or first two trades. One of them broke even, one of them hit take profit. But this is how I would set it up from the start. So you want like 30 levels or whatever. Shows, it shows you some consistency. I want you to do it in more than five trades. So the starting balance, whatever you want it to be, whether it's $20, whether it's $50, $100, some small number, you wanna put it here and it'll just start off as the balance. Your risk percentage, I want you to actually put the percentage icon in there because it's gonna help you with the calculations of the entire formula. So for me, I'm risking 15% and my risk to reward ratio is one to 1.5. So 1.5 times 15% is 23%. So you'll have the risk percentage column, you'll have the risk in dollars, so you'll visually see what you're willing to put on the table in order to get that profit. So if the starting balance is $100 and your risk percentage is 15%, on the risk dollar amount, you're gonna do an equal sign, which is gonna create the formula, and then click the first box, that B2 with the $100, and then do a Shift 8, and that'll give you the multiplication symbol, the little star, and then click the risk percentage box, which is gonna be C2, and then just hit enter, and it'll automatically calculate 15% of 100, which is $15. Now your profit goal is gonna be a different formula. It's gonna be the equal sign, your original balance, multiplied by 23%, which is 1.5 times your risk percentage, which is 15. I don't wanna create an additional column to do that, so I'm just gonna type in 23%. I know it's not exact, but it's good enough. Once you do that, just hit enter and you'll get your profit goal of $23 for this first trade. And then your ending balance is gonna be equal sign. You're gonna click your starting balance box, add a plus and add it to your profit goal. Because if you make $23 on the trade, added to your original balance, that will make your ending balance. So now that you have that first column done, your second column in the starting balance, you're gonna do an equal sign and then just click the ending balance of the previous top row and then just hit enter. Now for the risk percentage, you're just gonna type it in manually. There's no formula for it. So just type in 15%. Again, for the risk dollars, we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did in the first row, an equal sign and once you type in the equal sign, depending on what platform you're using, it should automatically take the information. It's kind of learning what you're doing and trying to figure it out. So it'll give you the formula for it already. Just hit tab and it'll fill it in. That way now $123 times 15% would give you 18.45. And then your profit goal, hit the equal sign, starting balance of the next row times 23%. And that'll give you your profit goal. Ending balance, equal sign. If it gives you the formula, it knows what you're trying to do. Hit the tab button and it'll give you your ending balance. Now, once you have this second row, you could just highlight it, copy it, and it should automatically fill in the rest of your chart if you highlight it and then just click paste. So now all of the calculations are done for you. There's probably an easier way to do that with drop down, whatever, autofill. I'm not great with Excel. This is the way that I do it. So now you can see every single level, it'll take this ending balance and start it as the starting balance of this row, risking 15%, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5
with a profit goal of 23%, which is a one to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. And as you work your way down this list, once you've completed a level, just type in yes or no here. And then in your notes, if the trade went your way, you can copy and paste the trading view screenshot link. So for this one, you can see I had Australian dollar, US dollar on a five minute time frame. This was my entry candle. It didn't hit my take profit. It created a fair value gap, came back up into it. I was more confident in it, but then it broke the trend line and then captured a little bit of liquidity. But at this point, if you watch that previous video, I'd already moved my stop loss to break even. And then I got in on a second entry right here and then got my one to 1.5 risk to reward ratio, giving me my ending balance of $125.43. And that's with the break even and the profit of the second trade. Now for this growing a small account challenge, I'm using Osprey and their trading platform trade locker. And the reason I've made adjustments to the whole 20 pip challenge is because now like the reason I did it before the way that I did it is because I didn't want to have to calculate lot sizes. I just wanted flat lot sizes for specific trades in that tier. So it was like 0 0.03 for the first trade, 0 0.06 for the next trade. But now they have the risk calculator on here, so it makes it super easy. So all I do is hit the risk button right here and just type in 15% on the bottom and it'll automatically calculate the risk in dollars and everything. And then my take profit, I'm looking at 23%. So it's risking 18 to get 28, which is exactly what it shows on my chart right here, risking $18 to make $28. And now on the chart, you can actually, whether you wanna buy or sell, you can adjust your stop loss and take profit by clicking and dragging it. So it doesn't matter if you're getting 10 pips, 20 pips, 50 pips, whatever, you can drag your stop loss and take profit to something that's already a one to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. So let's say we've broken this level of support, we had an engulfing candle up, we want our stop loss to be here, our take profit automatically adjusts to that 23%, lot sizes are already calculated and you just buy. And if you wanna calculate it in pips and ticks, so it'll be 98 tick stop loss, which is basically 9.6 pips, and then that 150-ish take profit, which is gonna be 15 pips, so a one to 1.5, 10 and 15. I genuinely think this was a trap because if I look back and I look at all of the Tokyo session right around this area, London's about to start and we're wicking above the Tokyo session. If it drops below that, I'm gonna go short for the day. It's much easier to do it this way, especially with the risk calculator and the fact that I've been talking to Osprey for the last, I don't know, three or four months, begging them to try to get like a deposit bonus. So if you deposit a hundred bucks, you know, you can get a 10 or 20% deposit bonus. So your original balance of a hundred dollars is now $120, which I mean, it's immediately free money for you guys. And so finally they agreed, they gave me 10%. And then I went back to negotiations and I got you guys 20%. So if you want to start trading a small account and you got 50 bucks or 20 bucks or hundred dollars, I think the minimum deposits 10 bucks. If you sign up using the link below, you will get a 20% deposit bonus on your deposit into Osprey. And then you'll be trading on trade locker. Genuinely, it's a better trading platform than MT4 or MetaTrader has ever been. And if you get used to it now, because I have secret Intel, they're creating this thing called Trade Locker Studio, which is gonna be a part of that trading platform. And you're gonna be able to use AI to create your own bots and strategies to automatically trade for you. So get used to the trading platform now because this is going to take over the industry. I'm one of the lucky few that's in their alpha group where I get to test the platform and create my own bots and it's been going really well for me. And that'll come to you guys later. But get used to the platform now Sign up with Osprey, use the link, deposit some small money, and start trading. The more you trade, the better you will get. It's like riding your bike. You don't just get on it and start riding it. It's the same thing with working out. You don't just go to the gym once and you're fit as a fiddle. You have to keep doing it day in and day out. And this is what I tell my daughter when she's trying to learn cartwheels. More practice, more better. There will be some additional information on my Telegram channel which I will post after this video goes live. So if you aren't in that group, check out the Telegram channel. Also, it's gonna be the second link down below.
Also, one more thing, and this is a sneak peek. I shouldn't actually be telling you guys about this, but we've been developing a new indicator called the Wave Rider. As you can think, it rides the waves. So like as price is trending, you can get some gnarly moves. Let me just show you this really quick, but don't tell anybody. Actually, you can tell. So this is US 30 on a three minute time frame, And you can see like nice, nice bullish trending upwards signal continue the bullish trend upwards signal continue the bullish trend upwards multiple touches on these waves nice momentum upwards and it keeps on going really good indicator if you're swing trading and trend trading like legit we've done so many hundreds of hours of back testing on this this new indicator is coming out i think september 2nd it'll be public to you guys that's available on the trading floor, trdfloor.com. Third link in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.